find this master Chad and ask him to teach it to us. <sighs> can't. The scroll says that he was a hero from the hidden leaf who died in the third. If I just have friends like Naruto. <sighs> I forgot the girl's name, by the way. Anyway, it is five seven. Can it sleep well? And Lee is cute. <sighs> Sorry about that. Oh, I just had to watch a little bit of Naruto before I talk about. Basically, a topic that seems to be trending, I suppose, and I thought I could share from my experience, this is quite relatable, and I'm not really good at doing topics like this because I always feel I have to be professional. <sighs> Honestly, if I could just have, like, just, like, a friendship with, like, Nacho and his friends, because he actually has run through loneliness himself throughout the series, then my life would be much more happier and healthier. Ampersand, healthier. <sighs> But, as a 26 year old, because yes, I am 26 even though I don't look like it, because I get that all the time, um, I particularly don't have any friends whatsoever. Acquaintances don't really count. It's basically just people that you may help for favors or you may see once in a blue moon. But basically for friends is a platonic connection that you would rely with someone in a dependent yet codependent way. Like if you basically want to just spend the night at their house, maybe just going to the movies with them. Well, maybe not the movies because you really don't like give each other eye to eye, but it depends on the person to person on what activity they like to do and maybe going hiking together or maybe playing Super Suspiders Ultimate on the Nintendo Switch or maybe watching Naruto together and you know, just talking to her face to face. Basically for me, like the person I've been breaking up about, she's like an acquaintance, Casey, right? Not trying to be rude. That's why I never feel like we're friends because when I actually try to help her, she basically either was drunk, like when she actually came over in the past because of how she struggles with depression like I do. Um, I don't think she has clinical depression like I do. I could be wrong though. Cause I know she definitely does suffer from a mental illness especially with her abusive boyfriend, which I don't want to go further down the road. That's why I couldn't pick up the phone because I couldn't stand him out there when he talked to me. When basically my neighbor downstairs and I had to sacrifice our time two and a half hours up north and two and a half hours back and being stranded and in the middle of the Black King Highway about midnight, pitch black, just to actually perk her up so that we actually can make sure that she's okay. We basically done that because we did care for her. And she actually made the decision to actually stick with an abusive boyfriend. And you know, she's a grown woman. I, I cannot change that, I don't want to. Cause well, you know what, that's her decision. You know, as long as she's safe, that's what matters. But besides that, I guess I can unplug this just in case because I don't trust my phone that may turn off emails at 37%. Um, it's really hard to make a lot of friends, or not a lot of friends, it's hard to make friends in general as an adult. And I noticed out there I actually had a dream of being in a loop on the third movie, apparently. I couldn't sleep well this morning because it's 5 o'clock in the morning and I was feeling a little bit cold. I'm guessing because of my depression, I'm not as hyper of energy like I used to be anymore. I would actually feel afraid to get up in the morning. Because I feel I have no, how can I say this? I actually have no um, inspiration or really a, a quest to do anything in my life. And even when I play on my Nintendo Switch, I would feel really depressed after I finish up a match. Like my life is back in reality again because it's in that virtual world when I be, be playing my matches. Like it's like a temporary feeling, you know? playing on my Nintendo Switch just helped me temporarily. But basically, just actually have no friends whatsoever, it gets really, really, I guess you could say depressing, yes. Because I feel, Dion, what's wrong with you? Like, you, are, you like doing these reactions on this channel, 
Okay, I might as well just talk about this. Like this, this is like a great um, thing to talk about because I, it's just this is quite a trending topic on YouTube now. I have to, I can share my experience. Basically, to upload like from Sailor Moon to um, Seven Camp Island reactions or anything else related on this channel to mental health, I guess anything random. I thought that would be kind of fun to do because it does keep me occupied. Um, maybe having an engaging community, which I don't have yet, because I know my channel is so small, so no one really would care what I have to say. And this, maybe this, just sharing my videos as a time capsule, if that makes sense. But for me, though, I always thought, like, I'm just too deformed, too mentally challenged. I don't want to use the R word because I do have low functioning autism that, like, Dion, no one really wants to stay friends with you. You're too goofy. You're geeky. You're too, um, you know, um, goofy and geeky. I, I guess that's all I can actually say because I basically didn't have like an actual friendship after I think I left out high school so to speak even though I did help a woman and her um, three kids because I was actually friends with them I was kind of like their godfather so to speak that sounds weird as hell because well basically their mom smoked meth she was really poor to the point she didn't have a car she couldn't drive and she even would have like her dogs having their poopies and pee pees all over the floor and basically not getting out of bed for like days. I basically would bring food over to their house so that they won't starve and just keeping them, you know, occupied. Cause I hit the oldest um, boy I would name Noe. I was, I think I was growing up 18 at the time. He was 13 at the time. So I've been basically watching him when I grew up and not to mention that they had a crush with Noe when he was grown. Like he was like way taller than me. And, you know, he already had like, um, I think a daughter. She's adorable if I actually remember seeing her. I think it was like 18 or 19 when I, when I last um, seen him. And like, he really grew. So, you know, I always been like the, the short boy out of like making friends because like all the boys would like tower over me. Maybe that's why I actually have a an affection of boys are like really tall because they protect me and it's kind of nice to, to look up to them and you know, this. Oh, I don't know. Maybe that's why my heart races whenever I see a tall boy in person. Like, I feel happy, I guess. And they're really attractive, regardless of their appearance. I just like height. So, that's just something running about me. And, you know, I have not been that type of person that can really make friends. Um, I don't work. I never have worked in my life. As sad as that sounds. Um... I basically have tried to attempt suicide who knows how many times. I'm over 200 something days clean of self-harm, at least since um, the day before Human Rights Day, which is the day before my birthday last year on December 10th. Um, that needs to be a holiday. Um, let's see, what else? I did try to overdose on vitamin C pills once. Um, did try to you know, basically self-harm myself with, with um, a bucks cutting knife. I even have a scar somewhere on my arm that's permanent. It's still there to this day. And basically being great, molested, and sexually abused. Especially on gay dating um, sites like Grindr. I really regret using that. It's basically a gay um, hookup app. I thought it was a dating app, but it's a hookup app that men would meet each other just to penetrate each other. Right with the darn raw bananas, that's what actually happened to me. And mm, basically, the game was run over. Um, let's see, a, a guy that actually threatened to like not shoot me with a gun, but I don't know. A lot of things. I don't think I want to go that far. Let's just say I, I've been through a lot that I could like possibly imagine. But I guess you can, you could say when it comes to the, the grinder part. I basically was so lonely on that app. Like, I'm so lonely in general that I would actually would talk to Postecu from time to time on my videos. Or I would literally go on Amigo, bad decision, just to actually talk to people, you know, on like on an anonymous Snapchat account that I would have. 
And next thing you know, they were ghost me a day later. I never hear back from them. They would never read my message. And this basically kind of like pretend to be someone else just so that I could feel validated. Um, on the grinder thing, what's the percentage on my phone? 31. Okay, I gotta charge it. That's what it says. Like, um, for grinder, since it is a gay hookup app, right? It's definitely not a good app to use when someone has a mental illness like me because you basically would determine your um, existence as a human being on someone else's opinion of you. So when I actually use that app, I would basically have a lot of men that would hate the red look. And honestly, I am ugly or unattractive. I don't want to hear, oh, dude, you're not ugly. You know, I don't have to mention, I don't like the word dude. I don't like the word bro or man or homie. I don't like those. I want to be called sweet, hun, dear, or even by my, by my name, mostly. Um, I would have like a bunch of guys that would either block me after they basically ask, can I see a picture of you? That is basically my breaking point of basically over overcoming my PTSD. Whenever I would basically show my, my myself, like giving them a, a face photo of me, they would block me within seconds. And I was thinking like, wow, Dion, like, are you that unattractive for men to not even tell you the tell you that they're not interested in being friends with you? Apparently, Dion, yes, that's the that's the truth. And you know, I'm used to it. I am because people don't want to be around me. I'm always going out doing things alone. Okay, like when you may see some of my videos, I like to go out to the night and a or or fries or Walmart. You know, every other night, whatever, and just being out with my walk and my own business because of my mom would give me money to buy groceries. I might give myself like a t-shirt every now and then. That's all I do. I don't really do much. I know it's it's like like can you believe a twenty six year old that does nothing but walking back and forth to the to like Walmart all the time and listen to his favorite anime songs like My Hero Academia and wanting to play on his Nintendo Switch. A Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, and maybe wanting to learn Navajo, which he tried. Um, that's all he does, you know. And I just don't see myself being friends with anyone because I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to slow anyone down, and I just feel weird hearing the word friend. Like, is this some type of joke? Like, I I'm not used to that. I'm used to basically having a conversation with the cashier at Walmart and I said I'll start asking how my day is and then I just walk off and go out with my day. That's it. Really. Not to mention, man, if I ever was able to date a guy, nothing related to sex, of course, just like having like a healthy, platonic, yet an emotional relationship. Um, you know, I would love to just get like my feet lifted off on the ground if he's really tall and you know, just having like a hug that could suffocate me. I know y'all seem sillier, sillier, silly, getting a piggyback ride. And you know, hell, even doing that in public because I am really short. Like I am, I'm not dwarf short, but I'm like not too, not too far off from someone that has borderline dwarfism of short, if that makes sense. I always wanted to have that experience. But with the, the greater thing, just to be back on the topic once again, I always have been blocked by men that didn't want to talk to me. Even when I have my profile saying that I'm depressed and, you know, I suffer from social anxiety and I'm basically trying to be clean this long of self-harm, they were still, like, reach out to me at first. Like, there was this there's guy that actually had a picture of him and his, I think, sister. And he would actually reach out to me, and then when he actually asked if I have a profile picture, or at least a, a picture of myself, I do, and then when I sent it to him, he would just block me. So, I always feel really, I guess you could say jealous, whenever I go out in public. If I was going to Walmart, right? Especially if it's like during the weekend, and if it's like during like one afternoon or morning, seeing these like wonderful couples that actually have their kids together, or maybe just seeing like a group of boys hanging out, walking together. I would love to have that. But I just can't because Dion, no one wants to be, to be your friend, no matter how hard you try. They would probably do it out of self-pity. 
they probably just do it well just so they can look superior about themselves as human beings because of how deformed looking you are and how you sound like a woodchuck i don't like my first sometimes i don't and just being all goofy you know that's why people don't want to be friends with you at least i don't have to worry about drama or maybe fights or maybe going to jail for actually getting a fight with them i don't know so you know i thought it'd be kind of fun to share this because for me personally, how much time I got left? I apologize, I had to keep checking us six, min six minutes left over. I feel so lonely to the point when I get a comment on one of my videos, I would jump up for joy. Like, oh my gosh, I got another comment. But I did again, I do get a lot of social anxiety, like online, right? Cause I don't have not just social anxiety in person, but online is that bad that, oh, it feels like a really like, crucial, I mean, if it was like a cruel comment, someone saying, your beautiful suck, like your noise is annoying as fuck. That's what one um, guy told me about a Rick and Morty video that I shared, um, that was like 50 seconds long. I, like my heart would race up because I would take it personal, I didn't like my video, and I tried so hard to figure out what I can do better just for people to like my videos because one, I'm not attractive. So that's why people would not respect me as much. Two. My voice would sound like a chalkboard, okay, in which I understand. And three, well, people just have to click off my videos, which is fine. So that's why people say they do watch my videos, they really don't, they just want to skip through it, and that's fine. So I'm guessing like those people that, are, uh, that probably made those videos that I have no friends, you know, which it's really awesome to relate that because if they're that attractive, it doesn't mean that they cannot be lonely. It still feel they actually have the halo effect. It's like, oh, why is this gorgeous man? That might be blonde, white, whatever, right? If he's like Swedish or something, feels so lonely. He shouldn't feel that way. I would love to be his friend. But if it's like someone like me, they're probably thinking like, wow, like this damn guy is like an ogre. Like, why did people even want to hear him? Why does he even exist? Why is he even alive? Okay, that's the same thing. Like, this dude needs help. Like, he's a freak. You know, like, he needs to see a therapist, not have friends. And that's another thing that I actually would get from people. Like, they would say that, oh, basically see a therapist and you take medication, you all set. I, I hear this all the time. Like, that's not one thing you should say to someone that suffers with soul salt dots, because I do suffer that on a daily basis, that, oh, you need you need help. You need to see a therapist, which basically is supposed to be a polite excuse of, I don't want to be friends with you. You gotta, you gotta, you need to be friends with a professional. You gotta pay money for it. Well, I guess that's my life. Just being broke, being homeless, and I think crazy on the streets, even though that does happen for a lot of people homeless. Um... Basically, for me, I got in comments like that. Or basically, people saying you gotta love yourself before anyone else will love you, and I don't love myself. Which basically means I cannot be helped, I cannot be loved, and I just cannot be heard by any human being because I don't like myself enough. Thanks to RuPaul that says, oh, if you don't like yourself, hon, then no one on else in this earth is gonna love you. So that means screw you, you should just go basically drop off a, a, a San Francisco Garden Bridge and end your life. I guess so. So, basically in conclusion, I, in 26, I have no friends. I suffer with low functioning autism. Um, I basically am over 200 plus days clean of self-harm. Um, I have been a, a rape um, victim. Um, what, what else? I'm really short, I guess. Um, I like to draw, dress in cartoon clothes. I like my hair academia. That explains why. And I basically can't get, not get by contact to people. Um, I'm sensitive to sirens. I have a phobia of moths. So this is something extra. And, well, I'm just uh, uh, ugly. And that's okay. I don't like how when people have to say, oh, you're beautiful, just the way you are. And, you know, you're gorgeous. Like, it's so fake. Like, this. be honest. The person, there's one creator on YouTube I like to watch. His name is Never Give Up. 
he is unattractive. And I guess you could say, I don't like to use that word ugly. Like that's basically a strong word for someone that has an awful personality and that's like an, en like an enemy. That's like a villain, right? Basically, he is really unattractive. But the way his personality is and his heart is and his maturity is really attractive. And that makes sense. So basically for him, I like watching his videos because I, I, I kind of thought about this months ago, but I thought no one, well, I don't know one is going to be watching this in a way um, that would, you know, hear me out of what I have to say so much through his story. So I just wanted to share this because my brain has been acting up lately. And, you know, because seeing of all the videos I try to make on YouTube, that's because I do want to get like a comment or two just to feel I am part of the community on YouTube. Um, I just basically like um, having fun doing reactions, even though I feel like like maybe seventy percent I'm doing this just because people want me to do them, or that they're only happy because I give them those reactions because I'm not doing videos that I want to do for myself, even though I do enjoy doing them. So, you know, I I just wanted this this is sure this because my mind has been like overthinking a lot lately, and. You know, I, th I just thought it'd be okay to actually share something like this. But I just want to say for anyone that's watching this, thank you so much. Of course, we'll post that too. Thank you, heroes! Or thank you for watching Dio's friend because you're a dark hero for hearing his thoughts and plus I'll to you, you coming in the comments. Thank you, Taku. Oh, but yeah. I just wanted to, to share because it's 5.32 in the morning and I miss the rest of the dark till she put an episode of this or in track is on it. Yeah. So, thank you for listening. And I'm not here for pity or anything or sympathy. I just wanted to share how I've been feeling lately. Ugh, great. I need to cut my hair. Ugh. Anyway, I already took a shower this morning, but... Ugh. Every morning, you know, until the last episode. I hope it repeats again. Such a great show. Ugh. But let me actually cut this off.